future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Plus This. I'm Kathy Deech. And I am Eva Tingley, also known as Curly Haired Goddess this week. <laughs> That's what you guys can call me. Don't mind. I learned a new hair trick from Rosa Graziano, and I am living my curly haired life. <laughs> you're going to see a lot of toss tosses during I this. I mean, you're just going to see broadcast. me being like, <laughs> That's so hilarious. <laughs> I love it. And meanwhile, I'm like bone straight thanks to Linda Cummins. Uh, looks so she, good. She like tamed the beast and it's fierce. Yeah. It looks really yeah. good. And she's the best. And by the way, Jarvis was just like a magician. And literally, Jar as he if you're just joining, if you don't know who oh, Jarvis know who is, Jarvis guys, is. Jarvis is our like engineer. In it's not like we don't Imaginary have Iron Man's computer. computer guy. <laughs> Jude Law's voice, we don't. And we have an actual Jarvis who does all the technical stuff, so go ahead. And literally as he was like, we're going, the light went boom! boom. <laughs> and he was like, oh my god! And Tony, our station owner, like ran in with a bulb, and then that one didn't work. And, I know, it was, and he like, was crazy. like burning his hand on it, and he was amazing. I'm a magician. <laughs> so thank you, Jarvis, for making Eva have her I have a light. Lit. I have my her curls are yeah, otherwise, lit. It, otherwise it would have been all dark in the first segment, and then they're like afterwards it would be like, boom! And we didn't want our poor guest who's going to end up sitting there. <gasps> That's true. To be in, to the, be in dark. the dark. How dare. Juice Labdell is here, guys. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. She is a gorgeous curve model and also producer. And we got to talk a little bit about that. We can't wait for her to share with you all the journey that she's been through with what, she, you know, as a model and then not as a model and making like a real choice not to do it and then to get a choice to get, to back, get in. back into it. Yeah. Yeah. We have similar storals. Oh, hmm. They might have bonded. They might have bonded. Guys, I'm sorry. I need to get the mic closer to my mouth. That's always a problem. Um, <laughs> you say that you're like, it's always a problem. Let me talk from back here. <laughs> I'm trying my best because otherwise I feel like I'm like, hello. Um, so, uh, we, there were some fun things that happened this week. You really got fixated on this, but the okay. So wait, stop. So the funny thing that happened was, well, this is not funny. This is actually really great. So Roxanne Gay and Channing Tatum announced that they're doing, they're collaborating together on a project. Well, she announced da -da. it. She just took a picture. Of the her most exciting picture. I mean, her like face Christmas is great. Morning. We have a picture. If you're watching, you can see it right now. If you're not watching it, go to Twitter. Go to her Twitter and at look at are gay. Yeah, and her face in that is everything. <laughs> really so she is. just is like, hi, and then. <laughs> So, but then he announced that they're working on something together. Yeah. And so then the Twitter sphere like freaked out. And we're like, what? Yes. So Kathy's like, Eva. Find out what they're working on. So I'm like on my sleuthing skills, like da -da 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 -da. I'm like, okay, I haven't found anything, but I found this article <laughs> that Roxanne Gay wrote about Magic Mike XXL. It literally is like her her experience watching the movie. And it like is literally step by step through the whole one movie. One of the funniest things I've ever heard. And by the way, I'm in it, so I'm partial. But I also <laughs> saw it four times because I'm in it because everyone wanted to see it with me. So Eva had not yet known the glory. No, I've never seen them. I've seen like bits and pieces but I've never like I've seen your part right but I've never seen like I've, I have like no idea no concept of the f I know she that they're strippers know the glory no I don't know any of it the dance so it was like so amazing it. because Roxanne Gay like goes through the entire movie like scene by scene practically it really is one of the funniest things I've ever read about so it. I it was reading it hilarious. out loud to Kathy Deach <laughs> and I was crying she was like <laughs> why are we not <laughs> taping this this is hilarious I was like we need Roxanne Gay to come on the show no we need Roxanne Gay to come on the show we're gonna work it out we, we have to really need out. her to come on the we're show we're gonna Roxanne just we love you come that's on, it come we on wanna have show. you in a seat and let's talk about all the things with let's being talk about how you want men Channing in... Tatum's everything in your mouth we need to talk about that <laughs> it's do. amazing and I was very close to that 
But when it had just a G string on, I just want to say his butt. She means his his butt, butt Matt Bomer's butt, all of the butts in I mean, the G strings. I Kath, you have lots of stories I have about lots of that. Stories, Roxanne, come have a seat. I'll tell them all to you. <laughs> tell them all to you. Anyway, um, so that made us so happy. Also, I mean, how was she such a sleuth about it? Talk about sleuthing. She is real sneaky. That Retta oh. about her book being happening like didn't even mention it on our show I know. whatever well, it was Rana. hard because she was like going between her two series regulars i know her. right she's like going across the you know globe from she's Vancouver like oh yeah Atlanta. that's just that little thing i'm doing on the <laughs> like that thing oh yeah no I'm big so, deal but i'm so happy for her like if there's anybody who i would want to listen to the books on tape <laughs> Do their own book on tape. It would be right up. Well, and her book, the title is so funny. It's called So Close to Being the Shit Y'all Don't Even Know. <laughs> like the no is actually capitalized. Looking oh no, maybe I just typed it that yellow. way. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Because it felt like that would be the right emphasis on the syllable. Yes. Yeah, for sure. But her book, that's going to be tremendous. And you can pre order that now. And I love an audiobook, so I'm definitely good at it. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't know that it said that there was an audiobook coming, but duh. Like, there will be because there will be. That Even would if be we them. personally make her read it. We're for like Retta. We're files. taping we're red, we're having you over at Rosa's. <laughs> we're gonna do our makeup and we're gonna pretend we're going out, but it's not gonna happen. You're gonna and, do and a you're gonna reading of your entire book to us. <laughs> For eight Hope hours you don't mind. straight. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Sorry about it. Girls night. I love, I'm, I'm, man, I love it when the big girl posse all like comes together. Like it's so it's awesome. Best. It's so funny. We still have to do fat girl karaoke. I know. We need that to do didn't a proper. happen for your birthday. I know. We kind of need to do it during a break when everybody's <sighs> yes. in town. So yeah. maybe oh, like maybe December. December. We'll do a special <laughs> Facebook Live of that. Do Christmas karaoke. That's That would be so times. Christmas Fat girl karaoke. Not to bring it down. Oh. We're going to bring it down. Talking about fat girls. We're going to talk about fat girls being, trying like, the fat girl inside being squashed. <laughs> um, I, you sent me that Kelly Clarkson article that happened mm -hmm. in Attitude Magazine. Yeah. Uh, it's a UK publication. And it was so startling because I... You know when you feel that from somebody? You know when you watch someone perform and you go, I know you're not authentic. happy. Yeah. You're not being authentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not in your like happiest self. Right. And I, I remember following Kelly Clarkson when she first came out feeling that way. Like... I, there was just something that wasn't simpatico. And then when she came out and she said this, guys, and we have a title card. She says, when I was really skinny and unhappy, I wanted to kill myself. I was miserable, like inside and out, for four years of my life. But no one cared because aesthetically, you make sense. So, I'm sorry. I wanted to kill myself. Yeah. Like, <sighs> But aesthetically, it made sense. Yeah. To the to the record industry. To, right. To those who well, market to the, albums. to the world. Because, you know, the second she gained weight, people were like, bah! Right. But she's also still selling out concerts. True. So. Because she. Whatever. Because it. guess what? You don't have to be thin to be a genius singer. Right. And like, why the fuck are we still like putting up with that bullshit? But oh, I have to tell you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to tell a story right now. You don't, you I don't tell know that you story. know the story. Tell the story, Kathy. Guys, it's just going to get loud. She's going to clap. I'm going to get she's really gonna clap. I feel it. I feel it. I can't it. believe it. I, I can't, this just came to me. My best friend Rob is going to laugh so hard. So I have a best friend Rob. He's kind of a power gay down in DC. And Not kind of, totally. Totally. And so. Like when he came here, I was like, hi, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like pretty much a big wig on the hill and stuff. So, um, he took me to all these fabulous parties the weekend of the Marriage Equality March. And one of them was like, they, a lot of them were house parties, like in like Brownstones, because all of his friends like own Brownstones in DC, which is crazy. And I was the only girl, the only girl with like 40 gays in the room. And these two walked in late um, because they had been to the Kelly Clarkson concert and they were coming and they were like holding court and like giving their opinions. And this young, like he was only like 22, 23 at the time, guy right next to me, I'm sitting down in a chair right next to him as he's talking about the concert. He goes, yeah, but can we please talk? Like Miss Thing is fat as hell. She, what is she, like a size 12? It's kind of busted. And, and you were I, like, ah! no, 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 no. <laughs> Like, Record first of all, scratch. watching everyone 
hear him say that and immediately look at me being like, this bitch is going to blow. And then I did. I might have had a couple drinks. <laughs> so I literally was like, are you fucking saying that? Like right next to me? Like my accent came out so hardcore, my Delco. I literally was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck size you fucking think I... Like, I mean, Eva, I, this is not an exaggeration. Like, this is not Kathy playing. You all can ask Rob. Go on Facebook and find my friend Rob. No, Pace. I believe that I this happened because I've lost my shit. I, look, I'm all red. I lost my shit on this kid. And he literally, to this day, is terrified of me. Like, Rob had a wedding. He was there. He, like, dodged me the entire time. <laughs> because I, because but, going, hey, you know what? Yes. That sucked of me to say. Yes. It would be way, is way too hard. Way, yeah. Or like really apologizing or saying I've changed wow. my mind about a singer that I love and what she should look like for but me to understand. Maybe he hasn't. I don't know. That's a great question. I mean, because that's a straight, that could be a lie. Yeah. Maybe you, know, you have maybe to has, investigate your heart. Maybe you need to take the Harvard fat bias to quiz. <laughs> maybe you need to and maybe that. you need to come to terms with the fat the fact that yes. you have a fat bias. Twenty two in- year old who's now probably thirty. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally 30. <laughs> and by the way, in defense of Kelly Clarkson, of course, I was like throwing myself on the sword. I was like, ah! like, because she was like, she's a, an American who did it. Do you know what I mean? Right. She was an American who did it, who like didn't give a fuck. She want, was going to be the weight she wanted to be. But not when she was on American Idol. Like, I don't know that she would have won if she was on American Idol. It's, I mean, Bigger. they would have never passed her. No, they wouldn't. I don't think she ever would have gotten to Vegas. No, no, for sure. Because not. of their fat bias. Absolutely. On that show. For sure. Yeah. Because that's not what an American idol looks Although like. now I feel like well, especially with the voice, they're definitely more like yes, but the voice you, matters. I love this. This is like my favorite conversation we've ever had on here because I feel like a total expert. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everyone to know this is my ego. Because really guys, if you don't know, Kathy Beach is a singer and she was on Broadway. Exactly. But let's talk about the voice for a second. Okay. Okay. Um, the voice is literally that. It is about voices. Right. It is not, it's like these detached things from a physical presence. Right. But it also is not about the artist, I feel. It's about the judges. That's a show that is about the judges' journey. Handling contestants, it is not well, about the contestant not necessarily. and their journey. No, no, I don't. I disagree. Oh, I totally, totally disagree. Have you watched the, the show? Yes, I totally have. And you can do all of those pretty little packages in the beginning, but as soon as that competition starts, it's not about the people. No, it's about, it absolutely. They're, it's about, it's the about judges. them coaching them and how how to bring out their performances. Eva, do you and know all one things? name of a person who has won the voice? Uh, yes, I have some of his. I Do don't you know. know one name of a runner-up from The Voice? No. Th- this is my point. My point is, is that it's not a show to make artists. It's not a show to create recording artists. It's a show about the relationship between people who like to mentor people and people that they really don't have an invested interest in making into a, a star, like American Art uh, Idol did. So that's, I mean, again, that's just my opinion. I think that's the aesthetic of the show and people watch it and enjoy it. And I love that singers get to go on and sing and that's awesome. And yes, they're all different body types. But they, all, but they also get the, they also get, you know, exposure on iTunes. They, they get some of the money, I believe, from the sales saying, of that. I'm not saying it's worthless. <clears throat> I'm just saying you are not going to be a Kelly Clarkson coming out of The Voice. I don't think that there's any show anymore that will truly make a star like Kelly Clarkson or Carrie Underwood. I, but I think it's because they've become formulaic instead of being what it's really about. Like, I feel like it's about trying to fit a formula or trying to figure out what an audience wants to hear instead of actually developing artists. I mean, it's not the way to be an artist. And the fact that she has risen out of that to become like this incredible artist who I saw live and is like a fucking genius. Like, (laughs) I don't know. I just love her and she's vulnerable. And I thought that was really vulnerable. She also wrote and said, or I should say the art in the article, it also said it was a very dark time for me. I thought the only way out was quitting. I like wrecked my knees and my feet because all I would do was put in headphones and run. I was at the gym all the time. Oh, been there. I mean, been there. And it's not a fun place. I mean, to and, be it, in. and it's one thing if that's like something that you want to do and it gives you joy, and that's that's one thing. Like if you love running, no one's saying stop running. But if you're doing it because you're fearful of losing your job or you're fearful of losing a contract and you're you're miserable doing it, then 
find something else. Like there's other ways to exercise. Like I really miss Richard Simmons classes because they were oh, so fun. Yeah. And you'd sweat it out and it'd be so much we fun. We used to watch those videos, honey, sweat until the old Oh, days I would have his show. balls in my face doing the workout. <laughs> just be like, hi, Richard, what's up? Okay, we're doing a workout with Richard Simmons balls yes. in my face. Yes, yeah, sweat until no the biggie. old days. Yes, that would have been our dream in Philadelphia back in Oh, so Delco much fun, up. so much fun. Yeah. The best class and yeah. like the nicest person ever in but the world. But here's the so. thing is that it, it like she was doing something that she couldn't even feel like she could stop because it all no go because away. the thing is is that it doesn't matter if you're miserable it's about yeah. this product the that you are a product that makes sense right and that's also kind of a harassment because there's if if Kelly Clark's, Clarkson feels like she can't be herself in her body and take up because space because she's a woman and take up space and Ooh. be a recording artist is that not harassment of a type oh I mean, and now she's like. I, this is me. I'm doing this and I'm oh singing. Oh my God. And, and by the way, nailing it and nailing her life and is amazing. Ugh, the music videos that she's doing right now are They're, just like. The outfits alone. Like, can we just go to Kelly Clarkson's closet? I know. <gasps> Who's Segment. designing it? Can we please get Kelly Clarkson on the show? Kelly, Kelly Clarkson's Clarkson. closet with Kathy and Eva. We'll just come to your house. We'll and come just to your house and try that things on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not We're not here weird. You're entertainment. Yeah, because we do like to karaoke her songs. We do. Oh, actually, that was a Pink song. But it's funny because I really want both of them together all the time. You do. Pink you you, were, you did say that you wanted to dream have concert. Them a concert together. It's dream concert for me. If we like, if do I it. had a Kathy's Live do it Aid for Kathy's Deech's or, mental health. Or I guys. know Live Aid is really old school. <laughs> you weren't even old enough to watch Live Aid, but I was. I there. feel like I know what that is. Though. <laughs> if I if it was Kathy's Coachella, if it was Deechella, I would totally. <laughs> have it would just be like Kelly Clarkson and Pink all day. That's um, it. No, other people too, like Lizzo, <gasps> who we're seeing. Lizzo, we're gonna go see Lizzo. So Lizzo. Anyway, we have okay. to get we have to get Juice out here. Yes, let's get her in the seat. Let's get her in here, guys. We'll be right back with Juice in our chair when we come back. Plus this. You know that sixty-seven percent of American women are size fourteen and above. You mean they look like this? Yeah. So then where are we in television and film? And where are we in fashion magazines and clothing stores? Yeah. So we want to help out entertainment and fashion and media. Catch, Catch the, the F up. Topics get hot. We want to hear what oh. y'all have to say. And they will get hot. Absolutely. I true. have a question for you. <laughs> yes. It's kind of like a dirty little one. Um, so if you had to do a love scene with somebody else famous, who would it be? I will. Oscar I Isaac. Know. Oh. Hey, I know I asked you that and you had an answer <laughs> like right away. We sang. We laughed. We cried. We you got to go cry. back. Yo. No, we didn't cry. <laughs> we didn't cry. Everybody should be able to be seen in, I mean, maybe not every single campaign, but... Let's let's try to include it in as many campaigns as we can. Yeah, Would you put? We told We're you. Just putting it We're in the culture for you. We're gonna oh. get the candles. Yeah, people are having sex with us. We need to show that we're like part of the this society, and and being sexual is part of that. Absolutely. So, uh, so tough titty, you're fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. Watch a fat girl love herself. Applause! 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 Just us. Just us. Oh, just us. Just us. Thank you. So um, good. Plus this. Hi, we're back. Plus we, this. We had a little snafu during the break. You probably noticed it. You saw us. You saw, you saw us, us commotion, being like, commotion, commotion, doing all the things. Commotion. That's okay. It's Kathy's mom was things. like, what's going on? Always on it. My mom on it. By the way, our mothers love your hair. Oh, thanks, moms. And also, thanks, mom. I, guys, I'm actually looking at people's comments today which is really exciting um so please ask questions i'll try to peep at it every now and then but yes. um more importantly our guest has arrived yes plus wait i don't even know plus or curve model curve let's just say curve model I think curve 
Juice Lavelle. <laughs> yeah, got you got you got a little nervous about saying her name. Is what happened, right? Because Kathy cannot say people's names. I get. I ha- it's like my tick. It's she, like my she gets tick. like I'll say the name to her, and then she'll be like, "Mumble jumble." Is it <laughs> lob lobder lobdel lobdel? And I'm like, Lobdell. no, Lobdell. Lobdell. Yeah, it's French. Mm. It is. How do you say it? Lobdell. I don't. I don't know. I don't know French. <laughs> I mean, just look at your jackets. I mean, Stop just it. Just all like, of it. It's like so cool. We have a model here. We do have a model. We have a model in the house. But tell us, because you started out as a model and then you moved from New York yeah. out here and quit. So tell us like how it was in New York modeling and doing all that. Oh my God, it was horrible. It was rough. <laughs> 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 well, oh, I always wanted to model. I started modeling in my early 20s. I'm 31 now. Um... And I was like in and out of college, and my mom was just like, finish school and then do whatever the fuck you want to do, <laughs> pretty much. So that's exactly what I did. And I was went down to New York City, was going to castings and trying to make a living, and just things weren't working out. I had a, my best friend had moved out here, and she was living at a crazy artist commune. And she was just like, I remember one day I was calling her, I was back up in Syracuse where my parents live, and I was just so miserable. I'm just like, you know what? Things ain't working out. She's like, well, come to LA and I was like okay and a couple months later I was out here <laughs> and how long ago was that that was five years ago almost wow was so, yeah. so then you you had stopped doing I was modeling. doing a little bit um I was just telling um Kathy Kathy about I did I did what was the LA fashion week okay and I thought it was a joke and <laughs> I remember it's, gotten it's gotten better. It's gotten better, I think. so much better. This year's was amazing. Yeah. Like, there were some really good designers. Andre Emery is one of my homies. He was he had a great fashion show. Um, Marco Polo, like, uh, he always uses plus-size models in his stuff. Like, Love it. Yeah, it's gotten a lot better. But I remember just thinking, like, oh, you know what? New York is for fashion. L.A. is for film. Let me figure out what this film industry is about. And I was really lucky to be introduced to a couple people that got me into the film industry and I started producing. Yeah, and you produced videos. Specialized in music videos. Music videos um, yeah. Done a couple like commercials. No, I've worked on a couple short films, but yeah, I'm working on a web series right now that's coming out, so. Fierce. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm sure being on the other side of the table then going back to modeling felt like a whole other ball game because once you have to hire people yes. you go oh you're like I, oh this is right what this is you know and coming back to modeling like i'm really rusty still like my mom sees every picture and is like you know keep your head down close your mouth <laughs> like she, she's oh. always on me my mouth is always <laughs> open i'm like well, yeah like, like you know that's the chic look <laughs> like the yeah, you know, you're like what? But, uh-huh. No, she's like, close your damn mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Moms always have an opinion, don't you? Always, always. But no, it was really good. Like I being behind the camera, there's a lot of power behind there, and like people don't give enough credit for the producers and the the DP. It and is the a ADs lot of work. The directors, like, dude, we make magic happen behind that camera, and like I dealt with talent a lot. Like that's one of the things I really work with, really hands on with talent. So. I got to really get that experience and bring that into my modeling now. So, yeah, I'm definitely feel a little more fiercer. I have a different look. I shaved my head, you know, like definitely a little more mature and a little edgier. So I'm trying to bring that to the plus size modeling, the curve modeling, more of an edgy look. Right. Nice. You don't see that that much. Let's talk about labels. Yeah, because yes. we we obviously named our show Plus This because I love it. we have – a feeling about the plus word. Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, talk to me about your experience. Well, honestly, like, what do you guys say? Like, most of this country, the women in this country are 14 plus, you know? So it's, for me, I don't mind the labels really plus. I prefer Curve. I think Curve is a little more elegant, a little more friendly than plus mm. um it's so like back in the day when i was a kid i was always be husky you remember like the husky, oh, the husky. i, I feel like husky was supposed to be for boys they had husky girls too yeah how rude i know i and i was like oh i have to go to the husky section husky <laughs> just sounds like your dog like you're just like <laughs> it is a dog it's a breed like, i know i know but that's what it sounds like you're like i'm not a dog but i just <laughs> I, I honestly feel like if we are the norm if my body's the norm. Why am I have to be considered a separate type of model, a curved model, quote unquote, where the straight models, which is exactly what they are, straight models, yeah, 
they don't get called straight models. They're just a model, you know? So either call them what they are or includes like include us all in just to being a model. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like I do have curve model. I do I do really accept that. But I'll call a straight model like if she's a size two, she's a straight model to me. You know what I mean? That's not even the norm, you know? Right. So I just feel like yeah, I I I really get kind of irritated with that whole thing <laughs> in the dream world it would just be models. model model yeah. we do the same job you know like i mean i don't think we have enough representation you know you have ashley graham right <laughs> everywhere and that's it pretty much you know like i'm starting she's to see definitely more. the hot ticket and she's amazing right now, she's yeah a, she's that woman that is god in a lot of women's eyes because like she's a size 16 she's in great shape and you know, she really works hard like at even just keeping her figure you know like she's she's in shape that woman's at the gym constantly working out and that's like the type of lifestyle i've been acquiring as well i do have to work at it you know and it, it's hard. It's definitely a challenge. So when sure. you hear stuff like we did in our earlier segment with Kelly Clarkson feeling like she had to do it and, and feeling like she was in pain working out that much. I mean, do you uh, have you like embraced working out? Like, do you feel like it's um, do you, I mean, some people really enjoy it. I am not that person. Yeah. So, I mean, I love to dance and I love swimming. So if I'm not doing either one of those things to exercise, I'm pretty miserable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering, like, what's your feeling on it? Um, It depends. I go in definitely in waves. Sometimes I really like intense training and I'm into it. Like one of my cousins, Jason, is a uh, personal trainer in Atlanta and he's got a great program called Results in 28 Days. I do that sometimes. Some days I just want to get on the elliptical and zone out to my music and some days I want to get in that pool and go hard. So it's really... And some days I just want to hike, you know? Like, I don't want to make... Because it's a lifestyle change, I don't want to make it like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that because it's unattainable, it's not realistic for me. So now I'm just finding that happy medium. It's like, okay... I might go to the gym. I'm really just sitting in the mirror and look at myself. I don't care. At least I'm there. <laughs> you know? Right. Giving myself credit for just making the effort. Um, eating a lot more clean. Definitely going plant-based. That's definitely the move right now. So just get healthy I would overall. bite a cow if it walked by me. I know. <laughs> Uh, that's hard for me too trust me it's not like I don't like that (laughs) it's just I doing all the research and everything and getting older too I'm like just trying to preserve myself a little better and see how my digestive's been working and with I do struggle with weight you know I've always been a big kid I always was an athlete growing up but I was still as good size 12 14 16 a lot of times you know so it's really just knowing myself knowing my body and and what, what works, works for, for you, yeah. right? Like I, whenever I've like tried to be vegetarian, I've felt like it, it was I just it wasn't right for me. For sure, for sure. And like I'm not there yet. Right. I don't know if I'll ever be there completely. But I do make an effort to do about eighty percent to ninety percent of my meals all plant based. Yeah, and I'll, I'll let myself a little something here and there. But you but know. if that feels good to you, then that's awesome. Yeah, for yeah. sure, Absolutely. for sure. Do you um? feel like there's a different uh vibe going into calls like do you feel like when you were saying it was hell in New York yeah doing it like especially out here do you feel like with this movement there's sort of like a level of acceptance happening definitely the movement is booming right now and that's like perfect time for me to come back into the industry and really go hard because before we didn't have the uh you know celebrate my size and loving your curves type of movement before it was just like okay you're a plus size model and that's it and you might book something but nowadays like we have different brands that are really coming to forefront with us like even like forever 21 they have their whole line that's plus size h&m you can go get some plus size stuff like before we didn't have that so now to see that now to see that it's happening it's just perfect time it's definitely in I've been embracing it. What's your dream brand to work with? Ooh, dream brand. Put it out there. We're witching We're witching pooing it. It's like October. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> honestly, I guess it it would probably be like H and M. I'm super simple. Like I I I I'm I'm actually at thrift shops most of the time. Like I like used stuff. I like to find I think that style really comes from what you can put together, not really what's put in front of you. Like, oh, this is hot. Like, no, let me make something hot. But yeah, I like H&M because I just think that's encompassing. Like, I like their clothes. They fit good. They're cheap. 
<laughs> Cheap enough, at least. Right, right. <laughs> That's really funny because, you know, H&M is one of those um, stores that decided to get rid of their plus side section for in the stores. In the stores. Yeah. Be- to have furniture. Because they? they had a furniture line. I, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. It was a big scandal in they, New York. Did they just do that? Or like does it, some of them do that? Two years ago? Yeah. It was like when we first came on the air. Yeah. we And I think it was like it, it happened a few months before we got on. So Yeah, it was a really upsetting thi- uh, Like there's still some stores that have. Uh, like in New York they do. Yes, in New York they do. They're yeah. in Harlem. Okay, downtown H and M now here has the plus. It's a small section. Yeah, though. it's a tiny yeah. section. Yeah, and I actually now I think about it, a lot of H and M's don't have that. Like I have to go to that specific one yes. if I want to get a pair of jeans and from yeah. twenty one too. And I just would like to say I don't know why you don't want to serve the majority of people. Yeah, that's in the crazy. store. Yeah, I don't understand. I that. mean, I think we're really behind the U.S. Like as far as fall, still in that facade of beauty, you know, and. I think we're moving towards a better, more encompassing type of like movement, but like I don't know. I, I we we are really behind. Well, like, you were talking about Europe. You were talking Europe. about France. I yeah. was reading like France right now. They're not even hiring. They don't. They underweight models. Like they models literally have to weigh in and be a certain healthy weight. They have to go to doctors and actually be, doctors have to like screen them and let them check know, them like, for cotton balls soaked in <laughs> Gatorade. Yes. And um, there's no True more f- photoshopping, no more photoshopping in a lot of places in Europe as well, which we need to get on to. Like, I have a thing about photoshopping. Like, my homegirl the other day I was showing her a picture. She's like, you know, we could take that little roll out there. And I'm just like, <laughs> how <laughs> that's dare my you? Role. Like, I mean, there are certain things. for that. <laughs> I, I, have, I do photoshop on the side. So I... I, there are certain things that I'm like, you should Photoshop that if your shirt is green and you exactly. can see your bra through. Exactly. You Photoshop that to like change the opacity of that. But to really change someone's body, you know, Iskra Lawrence, the model, the curve model, has talked about that a lot about how much they changed oh, her change face. Everything. Like that to the point where her parents couldn't recognize her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a problem. I, I don't mind like a blemish. You know what I mean? Sure, like, something that's not normally there. Right. Right. Or like there's a crease in your dress because they didn't press it or whatever. You Photoshop that out. But something that is like part of your body, <laughs> I think just leave it. Yeah. Just We're going to talk more about this. Let's take a really tiny, quick break. Tiny. So we can get super tiny. It's like some a water in break. our mouths. Yeah. But we have like a Photoshop article that we want to talk to you yes. about. Awesome. Come back. Okay, Juice. All right, we're coming back with Juice plus this. It's not the natural beauty products in your life, but the life in your natural beauty products. Linda Kamen's Aromatherapy Salon, lindacammons.com for happier, healthier living. We're back. Thank you. I'm um, just fixing my curls, guys. Yes. Don't mind me. Yes. Yeah. Everybody, by the way, Facebook is cray with the love for your curls. I'm telling you, they're all blowing up. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post the link to the video of how to do this. It's super amazing, easy hairdo that I learned from Rosa Graziano. All because of her. But let's go back to photoshopping. So we um, noticed that there were two Instagrammers. Can you pronounce their names, Eva? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna do my best. Diana Sirokai and Callie Thorpe. Yes, I mean I know Callie Thorpe for sure. Right. I, I, I'm not as uh, familiar. So with Diana. this first picture that you guys are looking at now, if you're listening to our podcast on iTunes, go on um, Jarvis. Don't show that second picture yet. Just wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> this first picture that you're looking at is a photo that was taken and they um, asked their photographer to use Photoshop on us, says Diana. I have to say we look amazing. Um, The purpose of this was to show you all how magazines and the media take editing to a different level. So now Jarvis pop up that second photo. That's what they really look like. That's really who they are. And they also said models and celebrities do not even look like themselves. We live in such a fake world. It's time to bring real So, back. Jarvis, can you go back to the can you just like kind of toggle back between these two? Like Yeah. It's a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty substantial. I mean, I've personally 
think they did a pretty terrible job at Photoshop. <laughs> because she is a Photoshop. Because I can do Photoshop. I'm like, there's certain things that a thin body does that a that a bigger body just doesn't do. Um, so there's things that are that are missing from the Photoshop to make it actually look like a real thin body. Yeah, like you were, um, she, you were talking a lot about the shadows, like where if you do have a tummy, you get a shadow on your thigh, and if you don't, you don't. And mm-hmm. you know, so she like picks up on all these. But I just knew what looking at it, I was like, that doesn't feel. It authentic. just looks alien. Yeah. Yeah, they look like aliens. I mean, bit. their hands look alien. I mean, there's just like a lot to it that I'm like, maybe you should have taken a little bit more time doing. <laughs> I mean, the it's hand. just not them. No, it, no it's, it's not. It's it's just I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, they were just trying to prove a point right. that you could take literally any body and make it look how the media wants it to. And look. And that's what they do. Yeah. And they do. They stretch. They stretch people out. They make their necks longer. They. I mean, like they literally make people look so alien. Yeah. And sometimes, like if you ask an expert with the dimensions of what a person's actual body would be after photoshopping, they literally are like this neck could not hold Support. the weight of a yeah. head of right. this head. Like <laughs> it's like that kind of stuff. So yeah. not only is it unrealistic it's it's really really warped so then because we see that all the time it really warps our perception so I love that you were just saying all that stuff about photoshopping so if you like let's just like a scruples question uh-huh. if you did see something that was really photoshopped of yourself what would you do um I'd be you know I would definitely it depends it depends what my contract says I would definitely let them know like I am a model that I don't like to be touched too much. Like I have a scar on my face from an accident as a child and I don't even really like them. I don't really mind if they take that away because some people really don't like it, but I really don't even like that being touched because it's me. So it's like, if you're going to hire me, this is what you get. Yeah. I feel the same way. I have a burn on my arm and I, I don't like it. It looks weird to me to not have it there. Right. Cause it just doesn't look like me. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really can't say is if I take a job, I don't want to mind them cleaning the picture up. But to sure, like maybe even maybe even like soften the scar. So if it right. like like maybe if the lighting catches, that's what it, they usually they do. They soften it, but take it out completely. That's what they I usually don't know. do. They usually just soften it, but it's usually there. And a lot of times they don't even really notice it too much. But like if I have tattoos and stuff, I don't really mind those because yeah, that's because my that's own a different art. yes. But that's different. as far as my body, like. You hired me. You know what I mean? This is what you got. So I don't mind you cleaning up a little bit, but... Like when they make your skin tone look different, like you're like, I don't a lot. I'm lightened all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm lightened up all the time. I mean, that is, I'm literally looking at her guys if you're looking at the podcast. And like your skin. I'm like, I'm like mad at how I'm just like, you're glowing over there. I'm just like mad at it. I'm just mad. Your skin is so beautiful. I love, by the way, I loved all of. I loved skimming all over your Instagram. I loved all the photos you sent to yes. us. Yes, thank we you. We totally need to figure. Wait, out I don't how even know. Pose. Jarvis, did you put the pictures of her up? Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> She's just like so beautiful. So I just want to yes. make sure because I can't see from over. I didn't can't see. So I'm like, <laughs> did you feel like you were just as confident in your posing when coming back? Like, probably, did you feel like you clicked back into it probably fast? more honestly because I'm a woman now. Like before, I was like mm. younger. A little more insecure, and now I'm just like, fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't even care. You know, you might have a little back roll. I might have a little cellulite. It's like, whatever, girl. Let's make this work. I'm still. I'm gonna pose right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know my angles too. Like, that's another thing. Is plus size models, curve models, like, we're killers when it comes down to angles. Like, oh, girl, trust. I know my to angles. It out. Nadia Bolson. I just got to work with her I um, actually modeled for her line and like I got to meet her and I've been following her for years and she looks like she shoots like she's probably like 5'7 she's 5'3 because oh that's like that's the thing that like totally crazy like makes me insane is that Tess Holiday is like 5 foot 5 foot tall I think <laughs> they know their angles they know their angles and then having a photographer too I've been blessed to be able to work with photographers uh, my boy Anthony Mortimer um my boy Third Eye Hendrix, which is my boy Kellen, he's amazing. Like they know how to shoot a full figured woman. Yeah. You know, and know And like, it's definitely different. It's it's definitely different. You can't do there's different. certain things you can't do with a a bigger girl. You just no, can't do those things all. that you would do with a straight model. We, we are constantly, when people want us to do interviews outside of here and they show us 
like chairs that are literally two inches off the floor and like they want us to sit down in those chairs and record <laughs> we're like oh my god guys those chairs are so pretty but we would literally look like slugs like yeah, we, we would just look like a, just like a rump roast like, like potatoes not our angles at <laughs> no all. And, and, and and by the way being on a stool no better like it's just like trying to teetering, rubble teetering, on the teetering, stool teetering. too it's not we have to find the right chair okay but one of the things that you wanted to talk about I'm just going to say segue into this real like nonchalant style um is you wanted to talk about what it's like to date a big girl and i love this subject because i love to live vicarious vicariously through all of my single friends <laughs> because i am an old married lady so i want to hear all the dating stories <laughs> and <laughs> go i got to sit with your husband by the way <laughs> He's a cool bowl of hummus. He <laughs> He'll be very upset because hummus is not actually Greek. Oh, <laughs> How about <laughs> yogurt? How about <laughs> some, <laughs> yeah. some Greek yogurt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. I love it. He he's is. so he, positive. He, he loves me so much. He's, he, he knows. That's a man that knows. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, There's not a lot of men that know. And like, um, I get a lot... I, I just I started dating this year. I was like completely focused on my career for the last couple of years and just like not even trying to look at a man. And um, just started opening myself up this year. And I've been lucky to have some really cool adventures. Okay. <laughs> you, have to spill the tea. Yeah. you have to spill the tea. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Yeah, that's why we're, yeah. we're talking about well, it. You're the one who wanted to talk about it. Go down. talk about it. Break it well, down. Here's the thing. It's like, okay. I get a lot of men that are always like, oh, and you know, I never dated a big girl before, and it's just like, okay, like, <laughs> well, it is different, okay, is like different. you can't, like, it isn't. I'm gonna just say that sex is different. You can't just like flip us over like that. Just doesn't really happen unless you're dating some giant man that can <laughs> do that. But in general, like, you can't do the same things that you do with a thin, no. tiny girl, right? No. Like, you can't just grab me and do the things that you want. <laughs> it takes a little bit more. Like, I might get a cramp. Like, let's get real. No, no, for sure, for sure. But at the same time, it's like, we're all women, you know? I don't know. Men, I just think they have this whole conception of like, oh, maybe I date this this chick, like, she, maybe she likes to eat, you know what I mean? Like, and it's like, no, dude, like, I'll go hiking, you know what I mean? Like, let's go hiking, let's do something active and stuff. So I feel like they always try to feed me. Interesting. Um, get a lot of older white men that, like, they like they, they want to take you out to dinner. They, they <laughs> want to feed you. I don't mind. I like they're to like, eat. I do like, like to eat. eat so <laughs> eat this I really it. sexy broccoli right now. Just eat this broccoli. But I feel like a lot of like bigger girls were intimidating to a lot of men. Of course. So like that's the thing. Like I feel like they just were like, well, you know, I can't really handle her or anything like well, what that. What is that? Even, like, uh, well, that's that whole Google thing because that that yes. whole Google thing we that we, about we that talked earlier. about this before yes. on our show about how the Google searches for porn are for geared men. A lot of times are searching for bigger women for the majority, but for the majority, and then. Then on their dating profiles, they'll say that they're attracted to thin women because it's more important for them to impress their friends than yes. to actually be with somebody that they're attracted to. Yes, but how? where does the intimidation thing come in there? Because it's not my fault that you're intimidated on how to deal with a world that is not maybe not as accepting as a guy being with a bigger girl. Yeah. That's not on me. It's that's not. on that's on you. So that's on your fragile ego. Exactly. And if we're talking about who needs to change in this situation, it needs to be men who need to come out of the fucking down low and they need to come correct and they need to like take us out. Take us for fancy dinner. Like take me yeah. out to a steak dinner. I will go. <laughs> Kathy <laughs> wants a steak dinner. I, I'm Who's so, up for taking her? I was filming today and I'm so hungry because I went right from there to get my hair done to here. I like this kind of feels like it could be a turkey leg. This <laughs> microphone. But she's like it's and turning into a like, cartoon huh? tummy leg. Like, just like all of a sudden I'm like ah. But anyway, <laughs> but I feel like that like again, why is it always on us to make change? Like why do I got to make a guy feel good about being seen with me? I mean, you have to blame the media for that. You know, it's what is perceived as what's beautiful and what's correct, you know? So like a lot of people in general, not only just men, don't want to really go the opposite of that. So dating a big girl is like kind of like taboo for them but for me i always get the guys are like well you know let's yeah let's try this you know but at the end of the day (laughs) 
I don't know if there's a lot of men that can handle me. So, <laughs> Well, have you found on your music video shoots, like, people, like, what was the vibe on there when you were a woman of power on there? And Yeah, well, I was producing. So, like, and that's another thing, too. They wouldn't let me cast a lot of plus size girls or anything like that. Like they like curvaceous or like big booty, small waist, but like thick and curved, like a plus size girl. You don't really even see that in video. No, no, you don't. And you would sort of like tiptoe in the waters and be like, Hey, what about this? And they just shoot you down. Yeah. Honestly, I never really pushed it because I'm on a job. So it's like, I just have to do my job. Um, but any of my own creative projects, you have better believe you're going to see a variety of women, especially plus size. Like with this web series I'm doing, it's my first time acting. I'm actually going to be in it. Excellent. Nice. Yes. And it's yes. gears a lot with dating in L.A. and being single and actually figuring things out, getting older. Like because I'm 31 where, you know, it's it's not cute to be a hot mess anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know what you're out. talking about. Kathy's 32. <laughs> She's in the same boat. So I'm definitely going to show, definitely going to rep for the big girls. For like, Because we don't see it that much. Like, I No, you seen, don't at all. No, it, it really sucks because there's so many talented actresses, actors, models, everything that just because they're not a certain size, they get overshown. Like, and it's that's not fair at all. We're missing out on so much talent. Yeah, especially out here. Like, oh, please. not everyone's a size two, guys. Yeah, Spe and like you would think L. A., but no, not everyone's a size two out here. So, I really do feel bad for a lot of talent that are bigger and they just aren't shown. That's because great. Well, we're all gonna be in the producing pool. Yes, and we'll send you we're our changing people the world. And you send us I love your it. people, and let's all do it together. Because we, I think, especially with women running things, mm -hmm. that it's will a really change. different experience. We've talked about that before about having being on a, a crew with women in charge, and it's a very different experience than it is when men are in charge. And a woman director, and today, I just awesome. feel like we do it so much better. Well. I just, you know, I was talking to Peter about this the other day about how things, you know, things slowly change. Like in the 60s, 50s and 60s, women had to pretend to be dumb yeah. in order to make their husbands not feel in inferior. And I was telling Peter, I'm so glad that I don't have to do that with you because I would... I would probably be in jail because I would probably have to murder you to pretend that I wasn't as smart as I am or to be able to talk to you about the topics that I want to talk to you about. Definitely. And I feel like that's kind of the case with dating, you know, for single girls that you have to kind of cater to their fragile ego. Well, I think that if you want to date a lot of people, yeah, but if you're looking to be more specific in who you go for, you end up in places with like-minded people. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's well, the only yes, way. Of course. That's why I Finding literally somebody have that you've that dated you... two people in 10 years, like oh, because also I too, don't Yeah, but I you're don't also suffer it. this is a whole other psychological <laughs> thing that Kathy has about people asking her on dates and her not being receptive. That's a whole other thing. A whole Who's thing. asked me on a date lately, though? I'm just saying that there have been people who have been interested, and you are clueless. Are you on any apps? No, no. she's re me resistant. Either. I've never done an app. I probably never will. I did them all once. Once, Juice. I can't. I cannot. It is so... Not the way it's me gonna either. for me. I feel like it's going to be relationships. I feel like er, there's going to be a set that I go on. It's going to work. There's going to be a friend of a friend. There's going to be a goss goddess meditation that I go to <laughs> where someone go. will show up. You you have to be where your like minded people are. Definitely. I think. I mean, for the kind of partner I or would you want. have to be in a random park. <laughs> I'm just saying it happens. <laughs> I met my husband in a random park. Parks work. I'm just saying you have to just be open to. But you were, but it was a, something that was for a good cause. Let's not cheapen it. Was it was not for a good cause. It was for it was like a random expo for from the cradle to the college from mom's expo. It was it was super random. It wasn't for a charity thing. No. There was, but I thought there were dogs there. There were there <laughs> were dogs there because they were trying to get people to adopt dogs. It is, was not for a charity. Oh, see, I always in my mind I turned it into a charity. Yeah, event. she was like, probably you guys were in a charity event. Nope, just at a <laughs> random park and randomly met. But I'm just saying, like, I do believe that you have to be open to that. My sister met her husband at the pool at a hotel. Yeah, it's, it's for me too. Like when I was not dating, I completely was really closed off, and 
I was putting that energy out. Yeah. So once I finally opened myself back up, I've been able to be like, okay, now and I've, I've been attracting some really cool guys. I'm, you know, the, the guys are pretty cool. Getting to know them, like figuring out what I really want. Um, it's been fun. It's been a little <laughs> frustrating at times. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm thinking about that time we were at the SAG building and that guy was like, you guys are beautiful. Kathy's like, we're not leaving yet. <laughs> I'm like, he just told us that we were beautiful. I literally <laughs> thought he was harassing us for the parking space. Hey, it happens. In See, the parking not lot. not open to and receiving And I was literally <laughs> like. <laughs> you were so mad. No, we're not done. We're, we're not, not leaving. Right. We're not leaving the parking yeah. space yet. <laughs> He was like, I just liked your outfit. Like, I just thought you guys looked beautiful. <laughs> and honestly, I get that because LA is so weird. Like, it's it's weird dating out here. The, the men are weird. The women are weird. I feel like <laughs> LA is a place where a lot of people that got teased in high school come <laughs> and make a life for themselves. Interesting. I mean, for real, because you know, a lot of us are creative. So it's like those are usually the kids that you got teased in high school. I was an athlete in high school, so I didn't get teased too much, but. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's some bruised egos out here, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I just want everybody to have a sense of humor and understand sarcasm. Oh, they need to. That's a must. And it, that's actually, I. it really is a tell when I like make a sarcastic joke and someone's like, hmm? blink, blink, blink. Like, it, it makes me crazy. <laughs> So that's on the list. So Kathy must has a list. Sarcastic. Must be sarcastic. <laughs> must get Kathy's jokey joke. I'm with you on must that. Must feed her steak. steaks. <laughs> and not broccoli. Well, if people, first of all, we can't wait to see the web series. You must tell us immediately. Yes. Let so us we're support yes. you. I'll definitely let you know when that's out. We need yes, to know. Yes, yes. And also tell us about where people can find you. Um, right now, I'm strictly going through Instagram, Facebook. Um, my Instagram handle is La Bruja Madre. Oh, yes, the it means major the mother witch. witch. Oh, the mother. I yes. thought it was major. The mother Madre. witch. Like, the mother witch. Yes. <laughs> I'm half Puerto Rican and Caribbean, so like that whole mm -hmm. Bruja and... Yeah, it's all in me. We gotta get her in on it. We yeah, gotta, we're gonna make potions with you later. Yes, yeah. I, no. When you were telling me about the <laughs> goddess meditation, I'm like, dude, where? Like, yes, I'm all about that type of stuff. I was actually. We'll talk later. I'm with that. I'm with that. <laughs> so Wait, you so can, on Instagram, you were sorry. What were you gonna? That's say? why I was gonna clear yeah. clear it up. So mm -hmm. can you spell it for us for those of us who don't know how to spell things? La L A Bruja, which is B R U G A Madre M A D R E. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. I and know. that's on both Facebook and Instagram? That's my Instagram. And then Facebook, Juice Lopdell. You can Google me. Juice. Google her. Guys, I love that all of your comments. I have been reading to them during the break. So thank you for that. And follow Juice. Get on follow board. Follow Juice. Get on board with the Juice. Amen. I love it. Thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you for us. having me. I love what you ladies are Just doing. So we're going to take her right? to the Plus Bus, too. <gasps> You plus don't know. Bus. Oh my gosh. We're going to take you to the plus bus. It's a fierce oh, yeah. it's consignment. It's yes. amazing. So um, next week we have uh, my good friend, Alyssa Preston, coming yes. on the show. She has a new um, game coming out. So like it's our first like person who's like a In gaming person. In a video person. game. Yeah. yeah. She's awesome. Exciting. So come back next week. Same time, same place. Plus this. <laughs>